Care for a cigarillo? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Uh, remind me, what tale are you from? Sort of flints when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Nothing. We just want to get out of here. As fast as we can. Sweet cheeks. Two puffs of my stuff, and I guarantee you'll fly out of here as if... Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from a Torius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears, could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? What have you got to sell exactly? Like I said, tobacco, fish tech, all sorts of things. Have a look. Wasting time here, Siana. Let's go. Wait. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly, very abruptly. We must be careful. All right, toss them. Something's always gotta go. The home stretch.
Admire the view later. First, we must deal with... Him. I told you this land had gone ape mad, though I did not expect it to be so severe. Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point, probably think you don't need me anymore. Well, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. That's so? How? Plan to use me like you did Deadloff? No, I need you for a purpose more simple. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt, and I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. separate ways. No parting words. Did you wish to tell me something? Actually, that'd probably be best. Oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, at last you felt what so many women in this world feel at times. <sighs> I just hope this tale has a happy ending. For me, for you, for everyone. That may very well depend on you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing beyond what you heard. For now. Come. The exit's this way.
Do you want the heart of Toussaint and the ducal wine? They were my right, my due. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. Know that, don't you? I do, and I regret nothing. One lives but once. Here, we need but jump into the well. You first. in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to... Hide from your governess. Which luckily she noted down in her diary. Thus I knew where to await you. But never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Calm down, both of you. But... No buts. Let's go. Really want to be done with this. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ah, uh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declan ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. You nervous? Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex. Especially so when said ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. Oh, may I be honest? Yes. I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. Let's get ready. Dadloff will be here any moment now. Siana, Siana, I have a question I must ask you. Did you truly feign it all? That which bound us was a ruse. Dead love. It's not that simple. I... Oh no, it's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. <sighs> A shame. Sienna. What did you do? 
do what I had to do. What she deserved. Beauclair will know peace once more. The vampires will have left the city by dawn. I shall leave as well. Go far away, far from men. You can try to stand in my way. Then I shall kill you both. Though that is not at all my will. The decision is yours. You can go. But if ever we meet again... I shall keep my distance, believe me. Geralt, Regis, farewell. I'm sorry. I swore to protect her, I know, but... But it happened so fast. What have we done? Let a killer walk. Isn't that what you wanted from the start, though? We have to let Anna Henrietta know. Geralt, you will face... I know. All the same, we have to inform her. Hey there, Geralt of Riffia. What do you want? Me? Not a thing. <laughs> Name's Handsome Jacques, and I've already got it all. What I wonder is if there's anything you'd need. What can you get me exactly? Exactly. <laughs> anything a patron of this little auberge might desire. From decent fiddles that won't stew your innards to a dab of fisty to make you fly. Even brought in a slinky piece of arse once. A boarder claimed to suffer from glandular overactivity or some such. You see, out there beyond the walls, I'm a lowly dog's body. But here, in the kingdom of the clink, I'm the cling. Can't readily think of anything. Come now, mate. We all need something. You've just not been in here long enough to know. You know me? How? No. That's a stretch. No, I wouldn't say that, no. But I do know they've assigned you to the laundry, same as me. Yeah. And I know what you're in for, your dastardly deed. Then again, I know that about every jester who winds up here. Hmm. Kind of curious to know what you know, or think you know. The Duquesa hired you to find the butcher of Beauclair. And you did, but then you let him butcher dear Anarietta's sis. Then this brute simply vanished, dropped off the face of the earth, though in his case, turned to vapor, might be the better phrase. Hmm, seem pretty well informed. Best informed mutt in this kennel paws down. Duquesa's cross, no doubt, while you await your trial, Though she never seemed concerned for her sister before. Since you seem to know so much, tell me one last thing. My sentence. What'll it be? <laughs> None can tell you that. Anarietta's a fickle cocotte. There's just no knowing which teach she's like to flesh. But I'd advise mm. against escape. You're a prisoner among many now. Take flight, though. Make it out. Public enemy number one. Why'd they lock you up? Ah, uh, hodgepodge. I had no domicile, but had to winter somewhere, so I robbed a shopkeeper. Couldn't have made a worse mistake. The penalty was a fine, an amount I couldn't pay, so they swished it to lashes, meted out on my bum. After that, I shifted course, started pinching bigwigs' noses. Cut the tail of Count Beauvieux's steed. Got a year and a half for that. My next exploits had to be grander, even greater wrongs. So I carefully chose my victim. Marshal de la Steak filled his cask with dung from between my very own cheeks. That got me three years of free room and board. 
I'll pull another prank as soon as they let me out. Made it a career. It's become my way of life. We're gonna report for this laundry duty. Rather get it over with. Away we go. Personally, I'm pleased we're assigned to it. Those rags stink like sick in the sun, but you get used to it. And when you're working, you get more bread. So I told him. Don't get my dander. I've no clue, because but we're better off chomping grass. I'll get up your dander. Yes, you get my bleeding bum wipes. Like that, did you? I sure did. I haven't had a speck of trouble with that sausage stuff. Norse, what that you were lesson. selling had no right to be called food. That was worse than red poison. Rubbish! <coughs> well aged meat. <coughs> Stop your ogling. This is no cabaret. Will you play or not? What's the stake? Look at this. Not two fleece to his name, and he asks about stakes. You can bet those racks you're wearing. What'll I get if I win? Bread. I put some aside for Stefan, but it won't kill him to go hungry. Who's Stefan? None of your rotten business. A rat. So, playing? Why not? Lay them out, then. Fleeced me, harlot's brood. Now Stefan will have to go hungry. Sorry. Oh, look at that. He's sorry. No one else will play with you in this coop. And be careful not to slip on any soap. Oh, I will. Well, will you stay long? You are 
asked for it. Not terrible. Might look nice on my wall. Oh! Pack the dirty rags in the tub. I'll see to the suds and water. Stick and stir the rags. Water's almost boiled. Have we here? The guardian of gutter snipes locked in the clink. How did that happen? My, my. What could the Duchess's favorite have done to deserve this? Back off. I'm busy. Hear that? The laundry wench is busy. Yet I fear we have a matter to resolve. Remember our meeting, boot black bodyguard? You go ahead and cheat. I'll be back once you're done. <sighs> Thanks for sticking around to help, Jacques. You're in the coop, mate. Only one thing counts here, survival. Folk don't stick their necks out for anyone besides themselves. Ho-ho. <sighs> he left you all alone. Worry about yourselves. You tried me once already, remember? Didn't work out well, far as I recall. Why tempt fate? We'll change to men. Prison does that to you. And you're the one who put us here. Oh, we've been dreaming of this. A miracle by which you would land in here. And voila! Sometimes dreams do come true. Seems fools never learn. Let's get this over with. Grab your washboards, boys! Let's show this kid who does the scrubbing around here! Oh, now let's not do anything right. <laughs> I'll take him from the left! What is going on here? Nothing. I'm not asking you, 
but the one on the floor. Have you anything to say? I slipped on some soap. You slipped on soap? Lots of soap here. It is a laundry. Harlots, brutes. Solitary for the lot of you. You'll have ample time to consider. Think about the choices you've made in life. I'll make certain of it. Didn't do anything to deserve solitary. Shut it! Milton was my cousin. You let him die. Was the Duquesa's coin not enough? Did you expect more to save a good man's life? Arrived too late. Nothing I could do. And when the beast tore apart the Duquesa's sister? Too late then, too? Were it up to me, you'd have hanged already. And don't you try any witcher tricks on me. You will end oh so badly if you do. Here of your own free will, Stefan? Or did they lock you up too? Bet you're thinking about food. What you'll eat once you're free. Mutton leg. That's what I'm dreaming of. Well roasted on the outside. Nice and juicy in the middle. Are you the lout from Rivia? Yep, I'm that lout. Come with me. You're to be sentenced. To what? To shut it. What am I, the town crier? Hands behind your back. Now let's go, and no funny business. Get ready. Soon all your problems will be solved, once and for all. Do you know where this leads? No. Hope it's the exit, though. You guessed it. The thing is, there are different kinds of exits. Some walk this path to freedom. Others walk it straight into eternity. Which am I headed for? I don't know. Yet one thing is certain. You will never walk this path again. Mark Dubois, you are hereby judged guilty of trampling Alice Valref, the cupbearer's wife, while on horseback. The woman's condition is critical. It was an accident. I was riding fast, it's true, but she jumped out in front of me. In light of the above, there can be but one sentence. Death by decapitation. No, I didn't do anything! Help! There must be witnesses! Off with his head. Next! Paul, the Witcher, take him to the tower. That's an order. An order's an order. Guess you're not next after all. Follow me. You're supposed to follow me. Why do you make me watch that execution? So you'd know this is no alms house for lost orphan boys. Wanted me to think I was next. Enjoy that? Getting a rise out of folk? You guessed it. The harlots' hounds that land here, I detest them. So I do everything in my power so they'll know they're in the clink, not on holiday. I've brought the prisoner, sir. Unbind him, and leave us. Greetings, Witcher. Your face... doesn't look good. Though, looked even worse last time I saw you. I apply an Arnica extract. I can hardly feel it anymore. But my scars pale in comparison to the fate Siana met with. The fate that was your doing. I trusted you. And how did you repay me? Consider it, Witcher. Why do you think the Duquesa had Siana hidden away to start with? Can you guess? I'm sorry. Might not believe me, but... Couldn't have predicted that turn of events. Certainly never wanted that. Enough. We shall speak of it no more. Guess there's been a decision in my case. Truly. Is that all you care about? 
your own hide? Get kind of anxious when my life's on the line. Your life was never threatened. The court considered various punishments. The death sentence was not among them. Wasn't in attendance, so I wouldn't know. You are in Toussaint, where the rule of law holds. We do not allow lynchings here, and every case is analyzed in minutest detail. The facts are as follows. You were hired to kill the beast. Not only did you fail in that endeavor, but you also caused the death of our Duquesa's sister. Have I missed anything? I'll have you know that were it up to me, you would rot in our dungeon until your dying day. Glad you didn't have the deciding vote then. At any rate, I am not the best person to tell you what was decided in your matter. I'd say the man who worked hardest to tip the scales in your favor should. What are you talking about? What man? Dandelion? Sheesh, Geralt. You look like you've seen a ghost. A ghost wouldn't have surprised me half this much, I promise you. What are you doing in Beauclair? Officially, visiting Honorietta. That is to say, the Duchess. We're old friends, ah, but you know that. Unofficially, I'm saving your hiney. You? You're a persona non grata in Toussaint. Undesirable. Didn't stop me from risking my skin for you. In my book, friendship is all that matters. Well, friendship and love. And art. Oh, and wine. How'd you even know I was in prison? Regis came to see me right after they locked you up. I mean, Regis, right? <laughs> Can you believe that? To come back after... Amazing. Uh, he told me everything, and naturally, I couldn't possibly leave you to rot in there. Take it I'm free, thanks to you. How'd you manage it? Oh, I have my ways. Took a little persuasive logic. Blended in some deft rhetoric, then added a generous pinch of charm, and voila, you're free. But just so you know, it wasn't easy. In fact, it was pretty damn hard. Duchess was so furious, I think she even forgot she'd banished me from Beauclair. For life. All she could do was scream that you'd never set foot outside that dungeon again. How'd you get her to take a fresh look at things? I appealed to the faultless intentions that guided you to your reputation, your accomplishments, and, well, ultimately, she changed her mind, and you're free. Never wants to see you again, but even got her to leave your vineyard with you. You won't get a copper of your promised reward, but you'll keep your estate. Dandelion, you are a regular master of diplomacy. Thanks. Listen, you do whatever needs doing, but I've got to get to the cemetery. Honorietta's in bad shape with Siana dead. Some folk forget that under the ducal regalia, she's just an ordinary woman who's lost a loved one. Been meaning to ask you, how's Priscilla? All right. Recovering steadily from the horror she's been through. So, you two, you're still... Of course we are. How could you even think it was otherwise? No idea. Just within the realm of possibilities. But please be careful not to lead Anna Henrietta on. Suggest you've come here for any reason beyond getting me out of my predicament. The bond between the Duchess and myself is one of pure friendship, nothing more. Now, off to console a friend in need. All right, see you later. See you, Geralt. Off we go. You'll collect your things at the door. Follow me to the exit. Things are past the front gate. I don't really give a fig.
Don't smile so wide. Someone's liable to see. Could mean trouble. I can't help myself. Just so glad to see you. Glad to see you too, my vampire friend. Thanks for getting Dandelion to come out. It was nothing. True, he was not at first terribly eager to face the Duchess, but I managed to persuade him his person was indispensable. Well played. Dandelion loves being indispensable. Yet he so rarely is, poor man. What did you do while I... Uh... While you vegetated in that correctional facility? I used the time to think. Wish to know what I thought about. Of course. The relationship between two numbers. Declaf's four victims and the five chivalric virtues. As you've no doubt noted, there's a difference of one. Mean to tell me, after all we've figured out, that you now believe in the whole five virtues punished theory? Belief's got nothing to do with it. It's cold logic, deduction. Siana went to great lengths to make folk believe the beast was punishing those who betrayed the virtues. Were I in her shoes, I'd make sure the number of victims matched. Are you not at all curious who was meant to be the fifth? If I say yes, what then? Then you'll come with me for another chat with the boot black. You see, I've learned he delivered the notes to Detlaf. Our search starts with him. Now what I say to that, Regis? Those murders don't interest me anymore. A drink, though. That's another matter. Then I invite you to join me for one. I'm certain to dig up a flask. Or two. Or three. Met a whole rogues gallery. All interesting folk in prison. Can't say I'm eager to ever see any of my cellmates again, though. Of all the places to wind up behind bars, Toussaint was a good choice. No other ruler I know would change their mind so quickly. Especially given it wasn't about just anyone, but the Duchess's very own sister. As you know, I had little sympathy for Siana. Nonetheless, I very much regret I could not keep her safe. To you, her ultimate fate, does it still bring on the occasional pang of regret? Yeah. Still. Well then, drink up. Always seemed a very complex creature to me, by your very nature. Not one to go in for simple methods like drinking your worries away. I fear there are worries for which, quite simply, there is no other medicine. Beau Claire seems safe now. Though I'm still left wondering. I mean, Detloff's alive. Think Anna Henrietta's still in danger? No. He had a score to settle with Siana. By his reckoning, he did just that. He has no reason to attack anyone else. Or to remain in Beauclair any longer. Sure hope so. Though in his boots, I'd regret having to go. Place is just plain beautiful, damn it. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming. Staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on. 
which of course brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stain, Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, the cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you now? Got a plan? I do. I must find Detlaf. Help him. I certainly owe him that much. Vampire friendships. Clear rules. Must be nice. Do I detect a note of sarcasm? Not at all. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.